are y'all doing today let's address the elephant in the room yes i have an unwanted guest right here he's so disrespectful like i don't understand why he feel like he could just out the blue just come up and he didn't add i didn't give him an invitation he didn't ask if i was busy if i had something else going on like if i had room for him or even if i wanted him to to make an appearance like this is ridiculous that is just so disrespectful it hurts so bad Ugh. to be honest i think it has something to do with my cycle it may be tmi tmi but um women you know you have strange things that can happen and as i get older i i never in life had to worry about a pimple but it's strange how as i'm getting older around that time different things happen like i had one come up a couple of months ago and it was a little bitty you may have seen it on a different vlog but it was a little bit of speck of a bump that was left <sighs> couldn't get rid of it and then this guy came like he just need to go somewhere and have a seat but not on my lip like that's not cute at all people may see me and be like Ugh, i've been drinking out the water fountain at school like i don't know that is just not cute but um also what i wanted to say was mcdonald's y'all need to do better just do better because i went to whenever you go to mcdonald's it could be in the heat of summer in the middle of summer you ask for a shake uh the shake machine don't work like why every summer your shake machine tear up like y'all need to get something that's more durable like can you not handle all the shake orders or the ice cream orders or or whatever and um my husband went to mcdonald's a few days ago and it was something something wasn't working it wasn't the shake machine i forget what it was but they didn't have something so me and the boys go to um hey me and the boys go to um mcdonald's this morning to try to get breakfast um good morning thank you for coming to mcdonald's cash only i'm like what cash only like don't nobody carry cash i don't not for real so it's like we hungry we want to eat so um that's why i i stick with chick-fil-a i'm telling you chick-fil-a would never let you down would never leave you or forsake you i'm telling you mcdonald's i'm just saying y'all need to get it together and i really don't, i don't even eat mcdonald's that much but the thing is when i do go it's always a problem it's always a problem so i want y'all to to listen and just get it together let me know if you've ever gone to mcdonald's and had an issue like what was your issue or i'm sure almost everybody watching you've had an issue with the shake machine at least goodness gracious and then half the time the service is just like the lowest but you got you got some mcdonald's out there they're doing it right they you know they're doing their thing but they make a back this shirt's getting on my nerve it looked like it was made backwards but um they're making a bad name for the other ones because i don't care what state you live in no stay over here Stay over here i am sure that we have all encountered we've been wanting a, a shake or um ice cream from mcdonald's and we've encountered them saying oh the machine is, is messed up i'll give you some in a minute the machine is messed up so we're out here at the park i just i took the younger ones to daycare and then um I brought the older ones out here. Sometimes I wish I could take the older ones to daycare. I know I could if I paid, but I don't want them to have to go every day being that they're in school. And um, they have to, uh, what? No, you need to hold it because you went before we got out here. I don't even think you have to go that bad. No, well, you will have to hold it. But 
but yeah i wish i could take them sometime because they just fight all the time and i'm like i'm about to jump in the fight in a minute and um i'm about ready to choke i'm about ready to choke somebody <laughs> but um yeah that that gave me a um that messed up my morning messed me all the way up other than this unwanted guest you know he he gotta eat and then I gotta eat, so that made me extra hungry. Like, I'm I'm past, I'm hangry now. So, um, but anyway, yeah, I got a, a few things to do today. I'm supposed to be going to Target to get the baby some wipes. I don't know if I'm gonna go because I just don't feel like it. And, um, when I go to Target, I spend way more than what I anticipate. I wish it was a, a way on here that I could go to Target and y'all could kind of like tap on the screen and be like, sis, uh -uh. you're doing way too much. Put that back. I just wish I had that. I need that support because when I go to Target, it's like, okay, I'm going to go in and get this. And then I come out with so much stuff. I'm falling in a, um, I'm falling in a state of depression. Because I have to go in the grocery store. Y'all, I hate, I'm not really depressed, but I hate the grocery store. And I just do it because I'm supposed to. I'm a parent, and I guess the kids gotta eat, you know, to throw them a bone. But y'all, I hate it. I see so many people who look like they just love it and enjoy it going. And then when I go to the grocery store, I don't even wanna make a list because I'm I don't want anything to do with it. And I come home and I have half the stuff but the, the stuff that needs to go with it i don't have it and i do that all the time my husband is much better at um i think he is at shopping at the grocery store than i am because my patience is just um i'm under construction i'm a work in progress but um yeah but other than that we're not doing much i need to i should have brought my clothes and i could have went and walked around this park i could have at least ran but um yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and go to the grocery store i was trying to see if i wanted to go now and then go home and chill before i go get the boys or if i wanted to go home now and chill and then leave a little bit earlier go to the grocery store and then go get the boys but i think it'll be best for me to go now because i think there'll be less traffic in the store i think Either way, I don't want to go. I don't care what time of day it is, but um, guess I have to do the grown-up thing and go. Y'all, I'm gonna lay there. That is so good. Yeah, it is making. Okay, next I might do that. Oh, rock climbing. Pokey bars. Where? That's rock climbing. Pokey Okay. So we just got home. We went to Subway and um the boys wanted to eat at Subway, but I I was like I was ready to come home. So I still have to go to the grocery store, which sucks. So I'm gonna have to go to the store before I pick up Cam and Case. Yep. The Mr. is like really disturbing me. They're talking about my bum. <laughs> but yeah, li listen, when we went to Subway, I was sitting in the um, parking lot. And so it was a guy who was beside me and he was getting out the car. But I was there first. I was about to get out of the car. So, so I saw that he was about to get out of the car, but he wasn't even paying attention. He was on his phone or whatever he was doing. So I said, well, let me wait because this, um, this fool might try to get out at the same time I get out. So, I let him out, out first, and then after I let him out, he proceeds to hit my door with his car door. I was so mad. Whether it was accident or on purpose, the thing is, if you hit somebody's car, and especially if they're sitting in the car, if they're sitting in the car, your first reaction should be like, oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. That's what I would do. I mean, it's not going to change the fact that they hit your car. Thank goodness nothing was wrong with my car. And I know that it was an accident. But the thing is, as a grown man, you could have at least said, oh, I'm sorry. I mean, 
it don't take but a second to say sorry. My bad. I apologize. Even if he had just done the gesture. <gasps> he could have done that and that would have been I would have been like, it's okay. But that that's kind of stuff. It just makes me mad. Like it's disrespectful. Like you just don't care. And so I just um they were going in the way too. So what I did, I just moved. I just moved. But I just moved to a different parking spot. I said that to say, people, if you are out and you accidentally ding somebody's door, please apologize if they're sitting in the car. Please. I mean, it's common courtesy. It's not hard to apologize. But yeah, I was real um, ticked off. So, we're about to eat and I'm going to sit here and I guess relax for a minute and may get a couple things done before I leave to go pick the other boys up. This is back from daycare. Oh. Have a good day. Okay, oh. did you have a good day at daycare? What you do today? Good. What did you do? Good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. About to go in the dicks and get the boys, some boys some football cleats. That's the name of the store. So here are the cleats. We ended up getting the boys. These are for Connor. They are a little bit big, but I think he'll be fine because if you have them strapped, they they won't come off. And he ran around the store with them on. I don't remember how much they cost it. But we usually have a hard time finding his shoes because he's kind of petite for his age. <clears throat> for his age, and um, we have a hard time. And these are the ones for Carter. And I don't. I think these are the Cam Newtons. Yeah, CN one. And um, sorry, I don't remember the price of any of these. So. These came from Dick's also. So I'm sure they are in the store or online. I didn't really like these at first, but they okay. Cause of this, I'm like, they're gonna look real bad after a couple of games or practices or whatever, but that's what he wanted. This is what he's gonna have to use all season long. So he was content. So, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm not going to turn the camera back on me because I'm tired tired of looking at the, um, the big lump on my face. And it's hurting. <laughs> so, um, until next time, I will see you guys in the next vlog. In the next vlog. I'm sorry. Y'all, I'm tired. But y'all be safe. <laughs>